Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm really excited to show you this 2015 Nissan Xterra. Now, this is the two-wheel drive version, but it is a really capable, uh, tough vehicle, SUV, sport SUV. So just looking at it, you see with the 16-inch uh, off-road tires and wheels and the, the side steps there, tubular side steps, and just the aggressive styling, sporty styling, that it is a, a sport SUV. Now it is, it does have the 4.0 liter, 261 horsepower V6 engine, mated with a five-speed automatic transmission. All right, so let's check out the front here. You see you've got the headlights here, uh, halogen headlights fog lights and you got the gray kind of silver looking uh, center with the kind of matte black fenders take a look at this angle over here Let's take a look here. Let's look at the window sticker so you can get an idea of what's on this particular one. Feel free to use the pause button. All right, so here's the inside of the passenger door and it is all hard plastic, easy to clean. Um, uh, basically mud and stuff can get all over that and you can you know, almost hose it off. You can at least wipe it off to keep it clean. Then you've got that same thing with the threshold there. Uh, I would definitely recommend, this one has the carpet mats, I would def definitely recommend the slush mats or the, um, the mud mats, the, the heavy duty rubber mats that uh, you can get at the Nissan um, parts department. Highly recommend that for pretty much any vehicle, um, much less a sport utility vehicle. So you can see it does have the, the cloth uh, gray interior. does have the glove compartment there fairly small but you do have another one up here put some stuff manual adjustments on the on the seats by the way it does have the privacy glass have you probably noticed there on the back and check out those those luggage racks on the top they just really that's what really stands out to me on the Xterra's So here's the inside of the back door. Same thing, more basic on the back. It is a small back door. Um, and I do have the headrest off of the seat here to show you that it does fold down. Once you take the headrest off, which is very easy, you can fold it down and have a really significant cargo space. But the back seats are um, you know, adequate. You do have some decent leg room back here. It's got a cool little step here. Uh, besides the steps on the side, you also have this step uh, to help you know access stuff on the top of the vehicle. And yes, this bump right here has a that represents, I guess, um, you can just tell that it has a um, first aid kit inside. So that's one thing I remember from the Xterra commercials when they first came out with this vehicle is they they really emphasized. The, uh, the first aid kit. They like, put an arrow and I said this bump represents the first aid kit. So let's take a look at that but first I want to just show you the back see what it looks like. Okay so let's open it up and see if it does in fact have a first aid kit and yes it does. So basically if there's an emergency and you're out in the middle of nowhere uh, you know if somebody's got Xterra Look for the Xterra, basically, because you know right where to look for the first aid kit. Anybody that, that has seen the commercials or seen this video knows that's how you get to the first aid kit in that place there. So as you can see, it's a, it's a very durable, hard plastic cargo area. Even when you fold down the seats, you do have that um, continuation of that hard plastic, easy to slide in, easy to slide out, easy to clean uh, cargo area. 
you've got a net, po net pocket there on the side to put some stuff as well as on that side you do have a power supply over here as well 12 volt you got places to hook a net which you do have a net in here um, a small net there to add to your um, storage capacity also this one has a shade folds uh, roll out shade so you can shade the uh, stuff here in the back keep them out of sight keep your stuff out of sight your backpacks and stuff now it's gotten heavy heavy this is the heaviest duty hooks I've ever seen in a vehicle right here these things um, now I can imagine if I was going on a backpacking trip my backpacks are very heavy but these right here um, looks like I can take my backpack and hook it to that and it will keep it vertical with all my stuff in it so I can literally have one two three four backpacks so four people can have their backpacks in this vehicle plus some stuff in the center um, and then everybody you know get in the vehicle go on a, uh, a backpacking trip and uh, that would be pretty sweet so yeah I like these really heavy-duty um, hooks they have here in the top um, very impressed with that and of course the first aid kit because you know don't want to happen to forget your it's your mini one in your pack you can always have one in the vehicle which is really cool there's your fuel door and once it, you take the fuel cap off you can put it in this little place here to keep it from falling down and scratching or scuffing up your paint so it is pretty uh, windy and I've got this balloon on here and uh, so I'm gonna try to get avoid getting attacked by this balloon so here's the inside of the driver's door it's basically a mirror of the other side except for this one has more buttons more power window buttons it has door lock control and you can turn everybody else's power windows off if you wanted to they have to treat you good or they, they get cut off from the power windows. There's some adjustments there for the seats. Um, has a lot of adjustments. I think it's like a 10 way seat or something like that. You could really get comfortable on a long trip. Your side mirror controls are here. You just gotta choose which side, left or, left or right, and then you put it back in the center so you don't accidentally um, mess up your mirrors, but that's the side mirror adjustments. Your headlight controls are here on, uh, on the turn signal switch. But uh, let's go ahead and hop in and see what we can see. Alrighty, so let's turn the fan down a little bit. It's kind of a warm day, but the fan might be interrupting, interrupt, might interrupt the, uh, the video, so. Alright, so here's the steering wheel. It is a kind of dimpled and you know pretty durable kind of a vinyl plastic type steering wheel to where if you get in with muddy or dirty hands uh, you don't have to worry about it because it's easy to clean and also easy to grip um, so even if your hands are slippery it can um, you know you can really get a grip on it especially with those dimples there now it does have some controls here your cruise control is on the right and then your your volume for your radio is on this side plus your um, basically your mode basically that is for uh, like say AM FM uh, stuff like that auxiliary AM FM satellite radio by pushing that button you can change to the stations or your tra CD tracks or whatever here and then you've got your Bluetooth um, once you pair your Bluetooth phone you can uh, make and receive calls using these buttons here so it's pretty cool and it keeps your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road while you're um, using your phone very very good safety feature so like I said your your light controls are on that side your windshield washers and, and wipers are on that side front and back so here's your gauges very simple easy to read uh, nothing you know too fancy here but uh, that's a you know that's just a, a, a sport utility type SUV so um, yeah, you know, I think it's adequate. I don't, I don't think there's anything missing as far as having to having uh, a lack of anything there. So here's your radio. There's your screen, and um, so basically you can control the screen 
uh, with these buttons here on the side. So AF, AM, FM, stuff like that with, with this button here. And then the satellite radio, you can push that. Media is basically if you're putting in a, an auxiliary um, or CD, USB, or Bluetooth audio. So, so basically, uh, once you pair your Bluetooth phone, you can play music through the phone as well. Let me just cycle through auxiliary CD USB Bluetooth audio. Those are the the um, the media um, ways of different ways of playing music through the sound system. Now uh, there's a little bit of a glare with the camera. I can see the screen fine, but I'm not sure the camera is not quite picking it up sometimes. So uh, I'm not sure why. And you can always turn this display off if you want to. And then you can tune to the stations you can control some of your apps on your cell phone if you want to but you do, it does require that you pair your Bluetooth phone and of course you can go back out of you know certain screens with that back button so down here you got a volume control and a power button your presets are here tune through the stations you can scroll um, through stations there now your climate control buttons there's a four-way flashers your climate control buttons are here and you can your fan speed your temperature and where you want to air the blow you also have a front and rear defrosters as well as a recirculation button now the recirculation button not only does it get colder air with your air conditioning um, but it also uh, allows you to eliminate outside air so so basically if there's a vehicle in front of you that's smoking and, and stinking or whatever you can turn that on and it'll keep that air from coming into your uh, the cabin of the vehicle so um, you know just something to keep in mind so right here is your traction control button you can turn that off default is on so when you get in the vehicle start driving it's always going to be on now if you get stuck or something and you need to uh, spin tires or rock the vehicle or whatever you can push that button and turn it off and that way you can spin tires and do your thing to get unstuck but basically you want to leave it on all the time other than that now here's a good pocket right here looks like a good place to put a cell phone got a pocket down there storage bin or whatever you want to call it now here's your shifter so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you um, that it's just like a standard shifter there's reverse there's neutral there's drive but also you can continue down and downshift in case you're going down a steep hill um, you can you know really go down all the way into first gear if you need to uh, that's a really really slow conditions And you can also turn overdrive on and off there. That will give you an indicator up here when you turn it off. Um, that would be for, like, say, if you're uh, pulling a camp, or pulling a trailer or something like that, and that way you don't uh, go into the highest gear. So there is storage compartment there for putting change or keys or whatever. You do have a, um, a parking brake slash emergency brake. You just lift it up, kind of old-fashioned there. Cup holders. Now these are kind of interesting because they um, they have inserts. So you've got these cup holders here, and not only can you use them, you can pull these out and, and clean them and put it back in. But also you can leave them, take them completely out, and you've got this really large uh, cup holder. Same thing on this side. So if you have a really large cup or a coffee cup or something like that, you can take these inserts out and use it that way. Or if you just want to use it for some kind of storage compartment, you can do that. Or you can, if you have just kind of a normal size cup, uh, you can use the inserts. I think that's pretty cool. So there's plastic covering this up. Um, this, this is a new vehicle, but it is kind of like a rubbery plastic feel, real grippy rubbery plastic feel underneath that. So lifting this up, uh, this is where you'll find your USB auxiliary and 12 volt power supply. Uh, for, you know that's how you can play music through the sound system. There's places to put business cards there, some coins, plus you have this kind of junk bin there for putting a bunch of junk. Alrighty, rear view mirror. It does have the little flippy thing under there to, um, you know, kind of, you know, the regular flippy thing for day and night. You have a place up here to put some shades and a pretty good size too. Um, so even if you got the Hollywood sunglasses, they might actually fit in there. You got tap lights so you can have a quick reading light if you need to and um, so your interior lights you can have on 
uh, off or just when the door is open. So I'm going to go ahead and open the door so you can see turns them on. The visors have mirrors but no lights on this particular one. You do have this kind of quick access um, place there, shelf there, but uh, you know you don't want to put any kind of heat sensitive stuff there too long because it is directly in the sunlight. Alright, let's take a look back here. See what it looks like. And the privacy glass is hard to see in, but it's really easy to see out. I think that's pretty cool. Let's take a look here. Zoom out and see the whole big picture. All right, let's take a look at that engine. 4.0 liter V6, 261 horsepower. Hopefully it's not covered up with plastic too much, but we will find out. Alrighty, let's see here. It's in there to the little bit to the right. Oh, can't do it with my left hand. It's gotta be my other hand here. All right, kind of heavy hood, heavy hood does have the prop on this particular hood. Uh, let's check it out. Hey, it's not covered up too bad. Actually see some engine stuff. That's what I like to see. I like to see cool stuff. Engines and wires and all that stuff. Metal, not plastic. <laughs> it does have some plastic on it, which I don't, I don't mind that, but at least I get to see some metal there. It's the 4.0 liter V6, 161 horsepower engine in the 2015 Nissan Xterra, two-wheel drive at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, clarifications, anything like that, leave it in the comments. And um, you know, I appreciate your time. And thank you to Grand Strand Nissan for allowing me to show off these cool vehicles that they have on the lot i don't work for grand strand nissan i work for you so really appreciate your support if you can like these videos share subscribe to the channel stuff like that it really help me out and um, of course you can send me a tip if you'd love if you'd like i'd really appreciate that as well anyways thank you for watching see you next time